Amen. Amen. You may be seated in the house of the Lord. Amen. I also want to thank my brother for coming. It's been a long time. Amen. Yes. Glad for you to be in the house of True Destiny Ministry Church. May God bless you, brother. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. A long time. A long time. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So I tell you, we are going to do a good thing in the house of God. Because Mother Day is here. Amen. This is Mother's Day. This is a day that we we let the woman know that we appreciate it. You know, man, I think ours in June. We're gonna get our day. But right now we gotta give y'all y'all day. This is y'all. Amen. Y'all, y'all deserve those roses. Those flowers. Yeah, amen. They say it's always a giving to them while they are among the living. Don't wait till they leave and, and want to acknowledge them. Let's acknowledge them now. Amen. Let's acknowledge them now. Because now is the present. Amen. Now is the present. So, happy Mother's Day. And my message today is Mother's Day love. Mother's Day love. Amen. The mother was not just born. They were skipped. It was given to us. Amen. Yeah. When God saw that Adam was all alone, he gave him a help me. Because he didn't want man to be alone. And I'm glad of that because I don't want to be alone. Mm. <laughs> Amen. So I wake up in the morning, I want to touch her. You know what I'm saying? I want to let her know how much I appreciate her. When I come home from work, I, I'm glad my, my dinner is ready. Mothers do a lot. Yes, we do. They do a lot. <laughs> they are the glue that holds the family together. That's right. That's right. Because they got so much on their plate. Yeah. They have so much on their plate. And you have to appreciate what they have, what they're doing. And sometimes we don't really look at it and we don't take it for granted. The things that they do, you know, but they do a lot. And we just want to say thank you, mothers. Thank you in the name of Jesus. I, I, I can't stop by saying, but thank you. Amen. But Exodus 20 and 12 say you should honor the father and your mother. Yeah. You say we should honor but see, in the Old Testament, it talks more about the mother than it did more than the New Testament. Because God wanted to set it right away about how you should treat mothers or parents in that particular form. How we should treat our parents. And, and, and in the Old Testament, in Exodus, he said that we should honor that father and that mother. But in Leviticus, he said, all children should show great respect them for their mothers, fathers, for I am the Lord your God. So he was telling them, that I am the Lord your God, you should show great respect for your, your mother and your father. And a lot of us don't do that. A lot of people do not respect their mother. A lot of people don't respect their father. They give them hard time. But when they're no longer here, you want to say, Mama, mama, daddy, daddy. But why wait till they're not here and let them know how much we love them now? We have to show them, show them how much we love them now. Because it's so important that they hear it now while they're among the living. Amen? It's so important now. The world or your mother. But to TDM family, the mothers here are the greatest mothers in two destiny ministry church. Y'all are the greatest. Because I know y'all. And I want to just say thank you for being a part of two destiny ministry church. 
Amen. I have I wrote down a Mother Day prayer that I wanted to read it to you. And I said, it said this goes like this. It said, Father, Father God, we thank you for each and every woman you have blessed with the privilege of motherhood. We thank you, we thank you that each single mother is a godly steward of each of their children and that they raise them in the way of the Lord. Yeah. In the way of the Lord. Yeah. And that's another thing. You know, when we was young, mom made us go to church. Mom, dad had a lot to do with it, but mom made sure we got dressed. She the one that dressed you. She the one that put on your shoes and clothes. You know, daddy said, you better do it. You better be ready. But mom helps. And that's what you call like a, that's like a help me. Mom helps. Mom helped us get dressed. She put on her shoes. She told her what to wear. And mom did all that. So you got to love mom. Amen. You got to love mom. Yes. King Solomon. And we know King Solomon. King Solomon was the son of David and, and Bathsheba. And we know that King Solomon was a man of wisdom. But we also know that David was a man of also of wisdom. But he his first child, you know, he didn't have that first child because he had committed what? Sins. And when he committed sin, God did not allow him to have the first child. But they, he did end up having a child with Bathsheba. And they had a son, they called his name, they, they named him Solomon. And Solomon gave his sons instructions that the mother taught him, his mother taught him. And what his mother taught him is that you will find virtue in a woman. But the price are far more above rubies. Now why would he say that? Because women are so special, they are cut in a different way. They are cut in a different way so that men, as we see our, our see the woman and see the mother of your of your child, they are cut with a with a price on them that is dedicated to keeping things in order. Now, what about order? What is order? Order is something that you, when you put something in order, you want it to stay that way. You want to keep it going in that direction. But you have to understand that when you thinking about something that you love, you got to put mom on top of everything. Amen? You got to put mom on top of everything. Yeah. Mom comes first. Mm. <laughs> I know when the guys, when they get their car, they don't say I'm going to buy dad a house. They say they're going to buy mom a house. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to buy mom a house. Not dad, but their mom. But see, but dad, yeah, but dad don't want much of We don't want much We don't understand. We know. We're working man too. We know how to buy our own stuff. Mm -hmm. But they always say, I want to buy my mom a house. I want to buy my mom a car. Because mom sets the tone. She sets the tone in the family. She is the she is the leader of the family, so to speak. She might not be the head, but she's the leader of the family. Mom is the leader of, of the family. And Solomon said his mama taught him how to be a good man to treat a woman with respect. How many know men? We gotta treat women with respect. Women deserve that type of respect. They deserve to be pampered. Come on, now we gotta pamper them. That's right. Amen. It's Moses' day. You better pamper them. Right. <laughs> when, they, 
When they get mad at you, boy, they get mad. They go in the court, hey, hey. <laughs> it's like that force gun in front of you. You can't penetrate it. All day you can all day you can set out that, that warning signal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And hope that break that force field. Amen. It's <laughs> <Get right. laughs> But we gotta keep sending out. That's a signal. You better be on your end of the smoke signal. Uh, we gotta send out a smoke signal. I hope they can reach you. <laughs> Amen. We gotta send out, send out a signal to hope they can reach you. Right. Amen. But well, let's go to Ephesians 6 and 1. I wanna talk to them. I wanna I wanna I wanna get some word. We'll see what, what the Bible says about it. Okay? Let's go to Ephesians uh, 6 and 1. Just say amen. amen. That's how I wish the kids were here because they children and they say children should obey your parents. Obey your parents. Mm -hmm. You know we have a lot of kids that really don't obey their parents. Right. Their parents tell them to do something they want to do what they want to do. Yes. Kids have to broke the mold. They are not the same kids as we grew up with. You know, kids want to do their own thing because I don't know, and maybe it's something in the water or something. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the soda they drink it. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But kids are different these days. They are. They are. You know, because I know back in the days, hey, whew, mm. mama was the, and if you come from a single parent, she was the man and the woman in the house. Mm. Okay? She do the discipline. You ain't got to say it to a father. Mm. She was disciplined. My mom used to get that stitching cord. Yes, sir. And she get that belt. And she get anything she can buy. <laughs> hey, Amen. But you have to appreciate mom. You have to appreciate mom. You have to appreciate mom. See, so that's why children should obey your parent because you belongs to the Lord. Obey your parents because you belongs to the Lord. But this is the right thing to do. This is the right thing to do. And kids don't understand that. This is the right thing for a kid to do is obey their parents. Yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Obey their parents. It said, honor your father and your mother. This is the first commandment they promise it. And if you honor your father and mother, things will go well. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's why they're in a lot of problems they in now, because a lot of them don't honor their father and mother. Right. Amen. If you go to the jailhouse, it's full of men. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Full of man. Yeah. They gotta build more jailhouse. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure they gotta build more jail. Why? Because men, when they be when they are boys, they don't listen when they're supposed to listen. Mm -hmm. And they don't listen to the right thing. They they they, they want to listen to people who tell them what they tell them in the streets, but not in the house. Mm -hmm. Mama say, come in a certain time. You want to come in when you want to come in. Mm -hmm. right. Then when she disciplined, you want to run away. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to be disciplined. Yes, yes. You don't want to be disciplined. See, things will go well. For you and your, and you will have a long life yes. on this earth. Yes. Come on, long life. Long life. So you look at the news, you see all these young people getting killed. They die, they do a still drive-by shooting. They shooting up the car, they don't care who's in it or who's around. Yeah. Why? Because we have neglect the thing that mom has taught us. And our parents have taught us when we was young. We don't listen like we're supposed to listen. We are not obedient. We are disobedient. Mm -hmm. That's the same way with God. And you, when you're disobedient to God, God have a way of punishing you. 
But when you're disobedient to your parents, they punish you, but you want to leave. Now you you can't wait. You get grown. I'm grown. Mm-hmm. It's time for me to leave. Mm-hmm. Because you've grown. But God said, no, I want you to stay there a little longer. But don't grow. I can't stay here no more. Because you know where they come from? They come from the sins of this world. Yes, yes. The sins of this world, I hate to say it, but it's, it's real powerful. And it's catching all that young people. It's catching them. And when they do it like young people, it's, it's really putting a lot of pressure on them. Because young people don't know how to handle it. Back in the days, kids stayed in the house in the mom and dad house for a long time. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But now they can't wait to get out. Mm-hmm. You want to go sort in Royal Oaks? Mm-hmm. I tell you, but thank God for mom. I'm telling you, my mom is 93 and young. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, I mm-hmm. thank God for her because you know, I remember the the, the good times, but I also remember the bad times. But the good time I wish the bad. Yes, right. Amen. Amen. Because I know at that at that time when I was coming up, I had to be disciplined. We all gotta be disciplined, yeah. right? Yeah. Don't God discipline us? Yeah. Right. Yes, we all have to be disciplined. That's right. But when mom do it, when dad do it, we have a problem. Mm-hmm. You can't wait to be get older so we can leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Listen to this. So this is our mom. She's a worker. She's a businesswoman. She's a provider. This is what your mom is. Dad does, but we talk about mom. Can we talk about mom? Yeah. That's her dad. And this is who she is. She's a provider. She makes sure the food is ready. You can eat. Some day they ain't gonna get in there and cook. Now, some day we'll cook, but some day they ain't gonna get in there and cook. I'm not getting in there and cook. You better wake your mom. You better go be some corn flakes and milk and corn flakes and tell mom. I ain't cooking. Hey, man. Milk and corn flakes is good. That'll hold you until mom get home. Come on, man. <laughs> That old, I'm telling you, amen. <laughs> but she's a worker. Yeah, she, is. she works. She got to go to work too. Mama go to work too. She a business woman. She a provider. She love hospitality. 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 And she genuinely love to be nurse. She love to be pampered. Yes, she do. Amen. Because she she have the meal ready for her when you come home. She have food ready. Amen. She's a strong woman. She's a strong woman. Yes. There is some challenge of, of, of bringing life together in that home. That home that she provide, that she help get together. It's the home that keeps us in perfect peace. It's peace. You know, when dad used to beat us, my father used to beat us, my mom was the one who used to be the mediator. Because, you know, they were there to beat, you know, y'all father, when he beat, he beat wild. <laughs> you know, he don't, he don't. But my mom beat up there too now. Especially when you start wailing. <laughs> See, you gotta be a man. Say, take it like a man. My brother always said, just take it like a man. Just take it like a man. Mm-hmm. You know, say, take it like a man. So you gotta hold your hand out, just take it like a man. <laughs> but some people wanna, you know, you wanna move and do all that. Then mom start beating you all kinds of way. You know, that's what she hit y'all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She, I'm telling you. But she has, she has compassion. Yes. She has some passion. Amen? Mm-hmm. She's a helper that helps meets the need of those who are struggling. She helps people around 
he would be struggling. Mamas, you mean mom's the one who helped you. Yeah. You know? You know. She she sewed, she cooked, she cleaned, mm -hmm. while without the word of saying thanks and expression or appreciation. Mm -hmm. She do all those things. Yeah. That's what mom do. Yeah. Mom is the queen of the house. That's right. That's right. Even though she's doing the work, but she's the queen. Yeah. Queen. Amen. Right. She's the queen. Right. Look what Proverbs said, 31 and 30. It said, honor her for that her hands have done. I said, honor her for all that her hands have done. And let her work bring her praises. Yes. Yes. Let her work bring her praises. Honor her for all that her hands have done. Yes. And let her work bring her praise. Yes. Deuteronomy 4 and 9 said, be careful. Watch yourself closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart. As long as you live, teach them to your children. That's what we have to do, teach them to our children about what mom had taught us. Right. With your parents, you've got to teach your children. Mm -hmm. That's why we get kids are so bad because we're not teaching. The next generation is not teaching the kids the right way. Mm -hmm. Now, you know your mama wouldn't teach you that way. Right. She didn't teach you like that. Right. So we gotta teach the kids the right way. Yes. Yes. Okay? Teach them the right way. Yes. And then so they can teach their kids the right way. That's right. Amen. So go to Proverbs 31 and 25. Proverbs 31 and 25. The Bible says in the Old Testament, she she is clothed with strength and dignity. She laughs without fear of the future. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instruction with the kindness. My God, she carefully watch everything in her household. And suffer nothing from laziness. That's right. My God. When I was reading this, I would say, My God. So, see, God was telling them how you should respect your mom, how you should treat your parents. Amen. Amen. So, her children stand and bless and bless her. Bless her now. Not fuss with her, but they bless her. Mama tell you to do something, you do it. That's right. Amen? Amen. And bless her. Her husband praise her. Come on. Right. Don't the husband support to praise that woman? Right. Amen? She bear your kids. Right. She supposed to praise that woman. She cook your meal. Right. She provide a house. She have a, 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 your house ready. The house ready when you get home. There are many virtues that are capable of women in this world. Mm -hmm. But you're surprised, you surprise them all. Charm is deceptive, mm -hmm. and beauty does not last. When I saw it, they said beauty did not last. So don't. Amen? Amen. So it doesn't matter. But love lasts. Yeah. Yeah. Love conquers all. Yeah. Love. Like God loved you. But God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten his, his son. Right? And so whoever believe you should not perish but have everlasting life. So God gave his son because of love. Amen? Yes, amen. But a woman who fear the Lord will greatly praise. Will greatly be paid. Be praised. Reward her. For all she have done, let her be publicly declare her praises. My God, we have to thank Mom for all that she done. These are the days for the woman 
Woman, this is your day. And I thank God for y'all. I tell you because you have done a lot. You kept the house in order. I know in my house, you know, I, I thank God for my wife. You know, I, I, you know, and I appreciate her. And she know I appreciate her. But sometimes you can see, you might, she might not see that. Because, you know, you feel that you've been living with her so long, you know her. <laughs> but you still got to let her know how much you love her. How much you appreciate her. Right. Amen. Amen. You still have to know. Right. Let her know. Because, and these kids that were given to us, be careful what you say to them. Right. Because they grow up and they take that with them until they don't grow up. Yeah. And they act the way they act because what they have saw and, and heard in their household. So we got to be careful. Yes. We got to teach our kids about the Lord. Yes. But they now, I don't think they really do it like they did back in the day. I know they made you go to church, but now you go when you want to go. You know, you can stay home and watch TV, watch cartoon. Mama might be in there right with you watching cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to go to church no more. But see, because church gives gives instruction. Yes. Structure. That's what church does. Yes. It teaches how to be yes. a nice person. Yes. Open heart. Mm -hmm. Kind. You know? Some people don't like to be kind all the time. They think they are kind, they're weak. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's good to be kind, it's good to be nice. Yes. 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 Amen? Yes. It's good to be nice. Yes. Because our mother didn't have an instruction manual right. Right. how to raise kids, right. how to be a mother. Right. You know? Some of the stuff they learned on their own. They had to learn from themselves. They had to learn a lot of stuff. They had to learn. They had to learn on their own. But mothers are the people in this world that we should appreciate. And I'm glad today is Mother's Day. Because I just want to appreciate my wife. Yes. And thank her for all that she's done for me. Listen to this. There's no mother instruction manual is complete. A mother may depart this life with the regret that she might have neglect, neglected to say something that could help her children be better equipped for, for the changing of life. Those that have mothers that have already stepped into eternity often expire. They wish they wish they wish that they could talk to her one more time. Mm -hmm. That's so true. They wish they could talk to their mother one more time. Mm -hmm. Mothers do not live forever in this world. Some are neglected. Some are forsaken. Mm -hmm. Even hated. Mm -hmm. By their own children. Mm -hmm. Or not appreciated enough by their own spouse. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have to let them know how much we love them now. Right. You know, we don't want to be a hypocrite. Right. We want to tell our new mothers how much we appreciate them. So that they know now that they are loved. Because love is a powerful word and it's strong. Yes, it and it's like glue. And if you love someone, it sticks to them. But if you don't love them, it don't stick. It don't stick. So thank God for your mother. Amen? Because you remember the good times. You remember the good times when you was coming up. There was some good times. You can go back right now and your mom was, you, you remember some good times. If there are any, some people weren't raised by their mom. But they had another mother bigger than I. Mm -hmm. That just like a mother. That's 
Yes. So remember that good time. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't let the enemy destroy you because he, he want to put hate in your heart on your heart. That's right. That's right. That's what the enemy loves to do. Because you didn't have this and you didn't have that. You're looking around at other people saying, I didn't have this and I have that. But don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. That's right. God knew what he was doing. That's right. Amen? Amen. We have to honor our father and mother. That's right. While they're alive. That's right. Honor. Honor. And don't neglect your mother's wisdom or instruction. That's right. Amen? Amen. Don't. One more, one more, one more um, scripture I want to go. Let's go to Proverbs 1 and 8. And then I want to say some things. That's why it's so important that we, that was the case we have different anyway. It said, my, my child, listen. When your father correct you, don't neglect, don't neglect your your mother instruction either. Right. Because we will be corrected by our, our parents. Right. What you learn from them will crown you with grace. Come on now, why would you say crown you with grace? Because grace has a special crown that gives you ability to want to be good at what you at. And it's a be a change of honor. Put it is a be a change of honor around your neck. What the word honor now you, you want you to make sure you honor your parents. Because the way you treat your kids Or you, your kids might want to treat you probably the same way. They're going to be that's right. yes. rebellious that's against you. Right. That's right. See, so you, your mama tell you to do something, you don't do it. Then your kids get older, they, you tell them to do something, they won't do it. So you said, where that come from? Uh-huh. But it's like a change reaction. Yes. What goes around comes around. That's right. That's why you have a lot of senior parents because people don't like to be talk, told what to do and how to do it. People don't like to compromise. People don't like to stay together and just compromise with each other because there has to be a balance yes. in your life. You have to be balanced. Yes. Amen? Amen? There's mother and father. There's a balance. Yes. Okay? You cannot have one over the other. That's right. Because kids see that and they run to the one who is strong. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, sir. And when they want, run to the one that's stronger, then they leave the one, the other one. That's right. And it's a advantage. Because they might be saying, you know, even though I, I could be strong, now, you want me to be, I could be strong. Mm-hmm. But a mother and father have different characteristics. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, a mother can have that tender, loving care. Mm-hmm. Father can be that aggressive. Mm-hmm. You know, he can be that aggressive. But I, I love to have that tender, loving care. Because I, when I want somebody to who I can just go and talk to, I can go talk to my mom. Then I say, oh, no, what is your What you good? You good? Go, go back out there. No, get out of here, boy. You gotta be tough. You gotta be tough. Mm-hmm. But mom have that tender love for kids. That's why they like blue. And 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 some people don't believe that. It's that glue that holds that family together. It keeps that family together. If a child wants to be wise, you need to listen to their parents. You need to listen to their parents. You need to listen to your parents. Kids need to listen to their parents. I've been a teacher in the system for over 31 years, and I tell you, it's like it's getting worse and then it's getting better. Mm-hmm. Kids are getting worse. I, 
you saw in the news, they calling on the phone, and, you know, they making these threats, and they, they never told them. This, this ain't no joke. That's right, no joke. They will come and arrest you. Yes, they will. So where are you going to get the money to get bound out? Because you ain't going to just get out. Right. <laughs> who going to give you the money? No. <laughs> Your parents, right? Mm. So we, we, we back in their pockets. Mm. You're back in the parents' pocket. Come on, we got we to gotta wake up. When you see a young man and you, and you get a chance to talk to him, talk to him. Yeah. If you got young people around you, you got young kids, talk to them. Talk to them. Right. Sometimes they might not want to hear, but talk to them. That's right. Talk to them. Say something to them. Because what you say to them may last a, a lifetime. That's right. Yeah. And they might rem they remember that when they get old. That's right. That's good. But if you don't say nothing to them, you always be a negative. Then they gonna remember the negative, mm -hmm. not the positive. Mm -hmm. We got to remember the the positive. Everything got to be positive. Amen. Everything has to be positive. So I say this. Parents, mothers, thank God for you guys. Especially the woman that took that to the ministry church. Thank God for y'all. Because it's it's good to see that a mother is in church. Amen. Amen. I, I like to see, I told my wife when she tells this story all the time. I, I said I always I was I was I was I wasn't saved, but I wanted a woman who was saved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, because I told him, when I get saved, I want to make sure that I got a saved woman. Amen? It's good to have a woman who loves God. I'm telling you, it's good. Because you got to worry about nothing. You don't worry about nothing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to tell her going to, going to that cook. Why you, why you not cook? Because <laughs> she know how to provide. You know what I'm saying? If she read the Bible, she know how to provide. Uh, and then, so it's good to have a woman that is safe. And, and, and I tell you this. Continue to treat your your spouse with respect. Why? Because God sees everything. God sees everything. And I'm gonna tell you something. Our God that we we'll serve, He don't like confusion. He don't like mislab. He don't like things out of order because He is. He's a God in order. Yes, right. And when he see that the house is dysfunctional, God pay a close attention to it. Yes, he does. Now who we hold accountable for that? Mm -hmm. The man. The man. He hold the man accountable for it. Right. Because God, like, 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 oh, uh, Adam said, but it was Eve, it was the woman you gave me. <laughs> It was the woman you gave me. Because I hold you accountable for that. You have to get your house in order. That's right. You have to make sure your house is in order. That's right. And I, that's what I always did. I made sure my house was in order. I made sure my wife had a, a roof over her head. Right. I made sure she had a car. I, I used to catch the bus and give her the car. That's right. Because I want to make sure she's driving. You know what I'm saying? She don't have to catch no bus. So I had the concept already down. You know why? Because this is what my mom taught me. And I thank God for my mom. Because she, she taught me. You know, most men, I ain't get no bus. You better get your bus. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll come pick you up. Hey, no. No, we have to treat these women with respect. Amen. Treat them with respect. That's on it. Treat them like a lady. We gotta treat them like a lady. Treat them with respect. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. God bless you. I tell you that God did a wonderful job 
when he gave us woman. Amen. Amen. Wonderful job. And I tell the Lord all the time, thank you, Lord, for my wife. Continue to bless her, strengthen her, encourage her, and good health. Amen. Because I want her to be in good health with me. I want good health, I want her to be in good health. Because I'm praying for her and she's praying for me. Amen. And that's how it's supposed to be. We are pulling on each other. Pull, pull, pull. Pulling on each other. Amen. Let's pull on each other. Amen. My God, you go ahead and stand. Hallelujah. This wasn't a shout lesson this morning, but I just want to tell you how much we treat, we appreciate the woman of true destiny in this house, and how much we should, we should appreciate your your mother and your wife, because it's in the Bible. Remember, it's in the Old Testament. Okay. You know, we have the first three testaments, which is Genesis, Exodus, and Leviticus. And you know, you see that God has spoke highly of man and woman and children, how we should treat each other. It's so important that we treat each other with respect, and it's so important that we treat each other with love, because God is love. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. But most of all, Lord God, I just want to thank you for all the women in the world today. And I just want to thank you for giving them to us, Lord God, that we shall not be alone in this world. Thank you for your love, God. Thank you for your grace and mercy, God. Thank you for your understanding of our situation. Thank you for the feelings that you have given us towards our spouse, towards our mother. That is a good feeling, a feeling of love and respect. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I just want to say thank you. Thank you, mothers. Thank you again. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.